Thank you for the introduction. Good morning, everybody. So, uh, why do we need uh, just a short introduction? You are already aware about this, but why assess breast density? You know, because uh, mammography uh, can have different pattern, and you can see some examples here. Uh, the other reason is that uh, mammography sensitivity decreases significantly when uh, breast density increases, and you might have false negatives. And the other is uh, this famous story that there are some epidemiological results showing uh, some type of relationships between uh, breast density and breast cancer risk. How to assess breast density? You know, you are used to, to use human-based methods. How does it, they work? You know that. You have uh, mammograms, you compare with a reference standard, and you put them into a box, more or less corresponding to that uh, reference. Uh, a few other examples, trying to cover, in the, to cover the, the four birads categories. Or you might have computer-based methods, uh, which are more quantitative, and they are based on imaging. We discuss about the method using uh, mammography images, but you have other types of imaging which, uh, which can be used to uh, provide quantitative breast density. So the study purpose was to verify if breast density assessment uh, computer-based, which is objective, can help human assess assessment, which is subjected, uh, reducing inter-reader variability, uh, is in particular for women with high dense breasts, you know. So the study population was just consecutive to thousand and something patients uh, who had the bilateral uh, digital mammography at our institutions. No special selections in terms of lesions. Uh, images were produced by three different systems and six experienced radiologists uh, participated in the study. There was a short, let's say, training at the beginning with just 20 cases just to set the same language. So human assessment was based on virus for addition, so the, the fourth categories and the, uh, let's say the descriptive uh, uh, separation between the categories. So for, e for each case I had six scores. And the other one was based on Volpara, which provides uh, a volumetric breast density per each image and was possible to average the four numbers across the four views. And we'll see the statistics. Uh, it's uh, descriptive. Uh, it, there is uh, something on inter-reader variability and the comparison for uh, computer and human assessment uh, in, in a continuous scale, volumetric breast density. But Volpara provides also a, a grade trying to mimic virus. Uh, so we'll compare also this number with human results. So uh, the, the, the data are distributed in this way in terms of volumetric breast density. This is the mean across the four views. So as you can notice, it's well below 100%, which is considered the full scale for breast density. It's also below 50%, to be honest. And you see that the median, which is more representative of this distribution, is around 10%. Uh, OK, here you have the compressed breast thickness, around 50 millimeter, and you have the age uh, showing that uh, there are a rather large number of, let's say, young women. So you can expect probably denser breasts than in a screening population. Uh, let's have a look to the inter-reader variability. There is a color for each Byrads category. So the black is one uh, and four is red. And you can notice uh, for the six readers the different uh, heights of the columns showing variability, which is expected. And if you go through the Kappa statistics, uh, you find, in fact, uh, a moderate uh, agreement across the readers. If you now compare results from each reader versus majority of readers, you can count cases uh, who had the absolute agreement for each virus category, and you see that finally the, the absolute agreement, if you look at the percentages, is pretty high. If you just focus on the disagreement, uh, you see that, fine, uh, most of these agreements are for adjacent categories, so between uh, virus D1 and D2, D2 and D3, D3 and D4. Two degrees the disagreements are very rare. So finally, you have an overall disagreement uh, which ranges by from 10% to, which is the larger number, 24, let's say. 
Let's look at the computer versus, versus human assessment. Uh, let's look at the distributions of volumetric breast density versus the four virus categories. This is the majority of readers, uh, and you have the description of the distribution, but if you add the data, you see they are sparser, definitely, so they are not Gaussian, and you have uh, overlapping uh, of data between two adjacent categories. These are the numbers. Looking again at it and trying to show you how Volpara divides uh, grades, so they define the, a, a range for each grade, for example, grade one between zero and 4.5% uh, uh, breast density. This is grade two, 4.5, 7.5. This is grade three, and finally four above 15.5, okay? Of course, these thresholds are more or less arbitrary, and you see that they include uh, some cases uh, uh, categorized as uh, uh, one class uh, and categorized uh, with the other class adjacent to it. For example, uh, grade four includes uh, cases categorized three or cases, cut most of them categorized correctly four, correctly. Let's say we have to discuss about this term. So some a few examples, two examples of uh, disagreement. Uh, this is a case uh, where Volpara mean volumetric breast density was 22.9, and half of readers classified the breast virus 3 and half virus 4. This is another example. You have a, a lower volumetric breast density, but again, the radiologists classify it half virus 4, half virus 3. So the conclusion of this work were that uh, human assessment uh, of breast density is subjective, so there is a degree of uh, uh, disagreement across readers, and we knew that. Computer assessment is objective and can be categorized and eventually tuned according to the population and so on. And in a screening context, uh, might be that computer assessment uh, could remove or reduce partially inter-reader variability and help individual readers in making decisions about possible workup. Thank you for your attention. Mm -hmm.